the Crosstown Classic hits the hardwood for this matchup between the Naperville Central girls volleyball team and Naperville North. The hosting Red Hawks come off a two-set victory over Neuqua Valley, while the Huskies enter after a three-set loss to St. Charles North. Central would get things rolling in the first set as Jackie Schmid takes the quick set from Sarah Butler and drills it into the center of the Huskies' territory to tie it up at one. On this one, Butler passes it to Georgia Von Lemden, who lays it into the Huskies' side to give the Red Hawks a 5-2 lead. The Huskies would try to go on the attack, but the quick attempt is blocked by Schmid to extend the Red Hawk lead 7-2. The defense would continue this in the first set. North trying to get another quick attempt off, but it's blocked again, this time by Sofia Zanka, as Central extends the lead 9-3. The butler von Lemden connection would still go strong early on. Following a dig from CC Morgan, Butler passes it to Von Lemden, who blasts it down again to give Central a commanding 18-13 lead. Zonka would also join in on the fun. Here another short pass from Butler, and an easy strike by Zonka makes it 23-17 Redhawks. Central would clinch the first set two plays later. North would make a successful dig, but they can't get it back over the net to give the Redhawks a 25-17 set win. In the second set, tied at two, Sydney Kushner catches the Red Hawks off guard on this serve with an ace. The Husky defense making some plays now as Kate Thompson blocks an attempted kill to put the Huskies up 6-3. Thompson would go on the offensive two plays later as North keeps it alive and Thompson tips the quick pass over the net to put the Huskies up 7-4. North is now up by just one, and Elise Hoffman passes it to Liz Rossi, who delivers the kill to put the Huskies up 19-17. Leah Norris would join in on the second set action as she takes the set from Hoffman and crushes it down to make it 22-17 Huskies. North would clinch the set two victory four plays later as the central kill attempt goes out of bounds to give the Huskies a 25-18 win over the Red Hawks and force a third set. North is up 3-0 early in the set as the ball is contested on both sides of the net before Rossi delivers it where no one can get it in time as the Huskies go up 4-0. Central, however, refuses to give up. The very next play following a timeout, Divik's shot is tipped by the Husky blockers before hitting the ground to put the score at 4-1. Now down by two, the ball is set up for Von Lemden, who drills it off the hands of a North defender and in as the Red Hawks trail 6-5. Central would claim the lead as the butler divic connection is going once again and Divic pounds the kill into Husky territory to give the Red Hawks an 8-7 lead. Now tied at eight, the ball finds Butler who lays it up to Zonka as she drills it down to put the Red Hawks up 9-8. North down by one, and they go for the attack, but the kill is blocked again by Schmid, giving Central a close 13-11 lead in the set. Few plays later, Divic goes in for another kill, but this time it's blocked by Rossi and bounces back to the Red Hawk floor as the Huskies tie it up at 13. North up 18-15, but it isn't strong enough to keep the Butler-Von Lemden connection in check, as Von Lemden strikes it down again to put the Red Hawks down by two. On the very next play, Von Lemden comes up with the block and the Red Hawks trail by one. The Red Hawks are up 22 to 21 and Butler sets it up to Zonka for the kill and Central is close to the win. Butler's assistance would pay off two plays later as she tosses it up to Divic who comes up with a dagger. As her kill gives the Red Hawks a 25 to 21 set three victory, giving them the match victory two sets to one. I was definitely nervous because North is such a good team and we really had to like fight to get back in that game. So I think I was just going up to take the best shot that I could, seeing what the block was, seeing what everything that was going on and just trying to put it together and make something happen. Right, when we celebrate points, like individual points and then celebrating that game, that game win at the end, that really builds up our confidence for the next game we're going into because we don't have that many games left. And we're in like right in the middle of conference right now and we really want conference but we know a lot of teams want conference title so it's just building up that momentum to the win. 